gas stoichiometry. So we saw a different mole highway, but this is kind of the same idea as the flow chart to help you with stoichiometry. So what we've talked about mostly is molecules to moles or grams to moles. And what we've really been ignoring is liters. Um, so liters in these is talking about liters of a gas and liters of a gas at a given pressure. So you can go from liters to moles using the ideal gas law if you have the pressure the volume um, and the temperature, right? So volume is liters. If you have the volume, you can use pressure, temperature, and uh, the ideal gas constant to calculate moles. You can also go straight from liters to liters if the temperature and the volume don't change. Um, so this is very similar to a regular mole calculation, but you'll use things like the ideal gas law to help you convert from one thing to another. So again, calculating masses of reactants from products, it always starts with a balanced equation. You convert mass or volume to moles if necessary. You then set up your mole ratios from those equations, and you use the mole ratios to calculate moles of the desired substituent. Convert moles to mass or volume if you need to. It depends on what the question asks you for. So the summary for me is balanced equation, get to moles, whatever you have to do, just get to moles and convert from moles of one thing to moles of another thing using the mole ratio and then convert to what the problem asks you for. So let's look at an equation. So how many liters of oxygen gas at 37 degrees Celsius and 0 0.930 atmospheres can be collected from the complete decomposition of 50.0 grams of potassium chlorate? Here's the equation. 2KClO3 potassium chlorate becomes 2KCl plus 3O2 in gaseous form. So we start with 50 grams of KClO3. We're going to divide by the molar mass Right, so the molar mass of KClO3 from the periodic table is 122.55 per mole of KClO3. That gives us moles of KClO3. We then use the mole ratio, which is 3 moles of O2 to 2 moles of KClO3, and that will give us our final moles of oxygen. So our final moles of oxygen for this is 0.612. So normally on an equation, we'd then be asked to give it grams of oxygen, and we'd go from moles of oxygen to grams of oxygen O2 using the molar mass of oxygen. But here they ask us for liters of oxygen at a given temperature. So we put volume, we rearrange the ideal gas equation to solve for volume equals NRT over P, and we put in the number of moles, 0.612 that we calculated, the R value, which is 0 0.0821 or 0 .82, 0 0.08206 liter atmospheres per mole Kelvin times the temperature in Kelvin because we have to convert Celsius to Kelvin or this won't work. And then we put in the atmospheres as well, calculate it out, and that gives us that we get 16.7 liters of oxygen are produced in this equation.